This is it. They're actually doing it. It is really happening. Next year's iPhone will not have a notch. And it's not clickbait this time. I will give you $10 if you subscribe right now. That's actually not true, I lied. But subscribe anyway and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT, Fapata. Of course, the show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Friday. It's been a crazy week. A lot of stuff going on for me behind the scenes, but I wanted to make sure I showed up to give you a show. It's like, you know, I'm busy, right? It's a, I'm a busy boy, but daddy still wanted to show up to your baseball game. Here I am, son. All right, let's just, uh, let's to go to the news part. All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno before we talk about Apple stuff. How about we give you an update on a couple of those Android leaks, huh? So a couple episodes ago, in the same episode where I gave you the first look at the new iMac redesign, I gave you a couple of Android leaks. But of course, the Android leaks got overshadowed a bit because, well, you know, the episode showed the iMac redesign, so uh, who cares? But anyway, in that episode, I gave you some dates. These dates for the Oppo Find X3 devices, saying announcement and event happening on March 11th, pre-order happening on March 31st, and then finally shipment starting on April 14th. Well, for this one, in case you missed it, Oppo put out official invites for their event on, yeah, you guessed it, March 11th. Who would have thunk it? So there you go. Safe to say that one is confirmed. But I also gave you uh, some Samsung stuff. I hinted at the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G having a market launch on March 26th. So I guess we just sit around and wait for this one to be confirmed too. Unless it's not, in which case that would... That would be sad. See, I told you I got you covered with some Android leaks too. You guys were asking for them, so here you go. And there's a lot of stuff coming up this year, so stay tuned. If you're not subscribed yet, now is the now is the time to do that. And if you don't, I'll never forgive you, so. Uh, okay, so hang on, real quick. This was not written into the show at all, but I gotta, I gotta mention this too, because I just saw it and what? Was just scrolling through like you do, and I saw this tweet from Jane Wong who says, Twitter is working on an undo send timer for tweets. So, okay, when I first saw that, like just now, originally in my head, I was like, uh, that's kind of dumb, huh? Because for some reason in my brain, I thought you would tweet, it would tweet it out and people could see it, but then you could hit undo and it would just go, ah, never mind, and then take it back. Because why would that be a good thing? Like there's people that have notifications on, right? For when I tweet. So I tweet, they get the notification anyway, and then I undo it and then tweet it again. But, but but then I, it clicked, okay? I'm dumb is the problem. I'm really dumb. That's what the issue is here. I'm assuming by this timer running out that like it wouldn't officially tweet it and people wouldn't officially get a notification of the tweet until the timer ran out. Timer runs out, the tweet is sent and that's it, that's all. I mean, it's not the edit button, right? Which we all want, but it's... I think I like this better. Couple scenarios here, right? You tweet something, there's a typo in it, and then you see it and you get to undo it and correct it and tweet it for real. Or of course, you just tweet something that you horribly regret instantly after, and you gotta hurry up and be like, oh, no, please no, and then uh, and hit undo. Anyway, like I said, it's not. It, this is not in the script. This was not written into the show, but I was scrolling and I saw it, so I figured I would include it. Uh, all I know is that they're testing it based on this tweet. <laughs> so, you know, take that for what it's worth. There's no official statement or anything like that. I don't know when it'll roll out. I just saw it and I'm like, well, I want that. So here we are. Now you want that with me. All right, listen, this is the tech show. You're watching a tech show. You don't need me to tell you what a VPN is or why you need one. What I can tell you is that my boys over at WeVPN are all VPN veterans who were just tired of all the sketchy practices of other VPNs that they worked for, so they joined forces and created one of the fastest and most secure VPNs out there. For only three bucks a month on a yearly plan, you get access to all premium features, a choice of over 50 server locations, and yes, you can use WeVPN to unblock most streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, BBC iPlayer, and tons more. More. They're already offering 62% off right now with one month free, and you, because you're a front page tech viewer, can subtract an additional 10% off just by using the promo code FPT at checkout. My challenge to you is that even if you're already using a VPN right now, if you like this show, if you trust me, click the link down in the description right now to give WeVPN a try. Okay, so next up, and 
I think this has got to be one of the weirdest things that has ever, ever happened on this show, but I, I got to address it. Um, you remember the whole Amazon joke that I made a couple weeks back? You remember. Remember? You remember. You know, Amazon updated their app icon from this to this, and as a joke, I said it looked like, well, uh, you, you know. And since I usually try to cover three news stories per episode, and the news was a little bit slower that day, I added that story to the show just as filler. Just as a joke to add in there literally only to make you laugh and fill up some time. I mean, that's what this show really is, right? It's barely a tech news show. I just use it to make jokes. But, uh, oh boy, this one. This joke got away from me. Of course, as you know, since then, Amazon has changed or updated their logo again, their app icon, sorry. They've changed it again to look less mustachy. Going from this to this. See, that's tape on top this time, not a mustache. Now, I did not think that they needed to change it. Like, I just thought it was funny. I don't actually care, like, at all. But they did. <laughs> Oh man, they they did, they changed it. And you know what, I figured that was the end of it. Okay, cool, whatever. They changed it, it now definitely looks like tape. Okay, whatever, fine. But then, a couple days ago, out of nowhere, I just start getting some really odd, like a lot of them, really odd, aggressive, out of context tweets. And at first I was just like, okay, whatever. But then it kept happening. And after I saw this tweet, calling me a bedwetting snot eating liberal. That was the moment. That was where I was like, okay, what is what is actually happening? And I got curious, I wanted to know, like maybe my tweets got included in an article somewhere. So I started looking and what do you know? There I am on a Fox website. How fun. Now it all makes sense. And yesterday I was on the front page of the BBC. So that's how this is going. The article on the BBC with my tweet in it to the same joke that I made here on the show. And then later that night, it was on the Philip DeFranco show. What even, what do I, what do you want me to say? How did this happen? What, I, I, it was just a stupid joke. How, or how has it gotten to this point? As it turns out, I guess some people were actually offended. Like, yes, I was joking. It was just a dumb, stupid joke because I wanted to fill time on the show. But uh, apparently some people, yeah, they were not happy and they called Amazon or complained to them or something. And I don't know. I don't care either. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I can't. I can't speak for these crazy people. All right. But news outlets out there that are writing about this and including me. Listen, consider this my official statement. Very official. Are you ready? Write this down. Get a pen. I'm going to say it now. I don't give two fucks. I make a stupid tech news show on the internet. In fact, in the same episode where I made this joke, I pretended to die. So, you know, judge for yourself, Fox. When I wrote the joke about the app icon, I just wanted to add Hitler puns into the show. Because man, it's fun. All right, it, it, don't believe me, go ahead. Head down to the comment section right now and just try to add as many Hitler puns as you can and tell me you didn't make yourself laugh. Bonus, if you look down in the comment section now, it's filled with Hitler puns, so enjoy. Are you little twinkie toed hairy f really gonna try to cancel me over this? Oh man, I did, uh, I did not see this coming. <laughs> I did it again. All right, let's talk about the iPhone. Okay, so last up, like I said at the beginning of the show, I have been so, I've been super busy all week, but I've been waiting, waiting to talk about this juicy little thing. What was that? Can I take that back? Is there an undo button for that? No? Okay. Okay, pay attention because this is the first time that I get to say this on the show and it's not clickbait. Apple is finally getting rid of the notch. Well, uh, that part is not clickbait. The image you're seeing right now, yeah, yes. That is, that is clickbait. Because yes, they are getting rid of the notch, but it won't look like this. It'll look like this. In which case, after seeing that, you're probably like, yo, huh? What? Why would they do that? In which case, my answer would be, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. This leak comes from Ming-Chi Kuo, who is absolutely amazing when it comes to leaks. He says that Apple will give us iPhones with a hole punch display next year, getting rid of the notch in, in favor of that uh, whole thing. And then the following year, which will be 2023, they'll go full display, no notch, 
no hole punch. Now he's saying this for at least the pro models next year. So the pro models apparently will have a hole punch display, but he does add that Apple may decide to do it for every model. Now, I gotta be honest, <laughs> this one blows my mind. Like it makes zero, zero sense to me that they would give us this, an iPhone with a hole punch. That feels not real. I mean, I personally haven't heard anything about it from my sources, but also, if they're just another year away from giving us something like this, right? Why would they do this in between? Here, follow along. I'll give you some inside baseball on some of this stuff. You see, the thing about Ming-Chi Kuo is that his supply chain sources are incredible. He's great at knowing what's coming like way earlier than the rest of us. But his timelines, those, they are a bit off sometimes. For instance, he was saying last year into late last year that we'd be getting a portless iPhone this year, 2021. But as of this week, he updated that saying that actually that's not true. All iPhones this year will have a lightning port. That has happened a few times where he leaks something accurately but his timeline is off by like a year. It's happened with iPads, it's happened with lots of stuff. So what we might actually be seeing here is something that is really a bit further away than he's stating right now. Maybe we'll get an update to that later on when things get closer to reality, or it could just be such an early prototype that it will never see the light of day. But listen, here's the thing. I still love hearing this stuff early even if it doesn't end up being accurate because i do i trust ming chi kuo and if he says it's a thing it is a thing even if it doesn't turn out to be the final thing you know what i mean either way it's still really cool to know that at some point apple was working on this i'm very skeptical about this one for sure as you can probably tell with all the technology inside face id and how heavily they believe in that and with their usual design aesthetic, it seems very off brand for Apple to do a hole punch. But listen, this isn't just my show, it's your show too. So tell me what you think. Do you, do you see this happening? Better yet, better question, do you want it to happen? And that's it, that's the show. Hopefully you liked it, you learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you hate, what? If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button. If you're new here, subscribe, bye. All right, I'm gonna go now. Oh, 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 oh,